My name is Engineer Chinere, also a Jimofo, the number one blog on construction matters. Uh, in this episode, we'll be discussing about sliding as one of the factors affecting foundation, thereby resulting to building collapse. Sliding is simple term means drifting away of structural elements as a result of shear failure at the base of the building. Drifting it means it shifted, it moved away from its original constructed position. This can occur through natural disaster and also human cost error. Previously, we discussed natural disaster form of building collapse and human cost error. But unfortunately, the sliding occurs in both main causes of building collapse. In natural disaster, this can occur as a result of soil movement due to high moisture content in the soil, thereby resulting to landslide. It can also occur as a result of contraction or expansion in the soil. Now, in the human cost error, sliding can occur mostly when a house is not properly built on the rock. If there's any kind of vibration around that location, there's possibility that the building, the foundation, will drift away by that vibration caused by rock blasting or any kind of heavy movement around that very location so it is pertinent we construct any foundation on the rock properly by way of first conducting confirmatory test on that rock this confirmatory test is majorly uh, to carry out risk assessment on that rock you only see the outer part of the rock. You don't know what is inside the rock. So there are several tests to be conducted on the rock to determine the load bearing capacity. Some of them are the ultrasonic test. This can be carried out on the rock to determine if there is any kind of deformity inside the rock. This test can be carried out with professional equipment without doing any form of harm or breakage on that rock. There are other tests like the axial and radial deformation test, the damping test, cyclic test. So, having conducted this test and recommendations are given as a result of the analysis carried out on the rock. If the analysis is on the favorable side, if the rock is found to have this compressive test, if the rock is found to be lifeless enough, if the rock is found to be suitable to get the load you're trying to impose on it, there are so many recommendations um, of which one of them is having to construct your house or your building or any civil works with dowel bars. The essence of this dowel bars is to create a good bond with high yield reinforcement. How is this carried out? This is done by, by drilling holes on the rock, mostly at the strategic places where your columns will stand. If this is completed, the diameter of the hole should not be more than the diameter of the bar size you're going to use. Remember, all this depends on the magnitude of the structure you're trying to um, construct on this rock. So when these holes are, are drilled, are bored, you bring in your high yield reinforcement grade 500. Reinforcement have several grades. So the high yield one is highly recommended for this practice. 
so you cut your reinforcement two meter each this is to enable you install your reinforcement into those holes already bored on the rock sometimes it can be one meter depth depending on the recommendation from the analysis on the rock so if you bore one meter deep and you install your reinforcement one meter deep into the rock and one meter will be protruding above the rock the second step is to bring in your good grade of concrete and pour it on the rock we all know how irregular the shape of the rock is it's oftentimes undulating some places are deep some are higher than other places so what this concrete helps you to do is to create an even level so that it can form the base of your building when this is done this iron into the rock has formed like your starter bars make sure you have a good lap length above the rock surface okay so this has formed your starter bars where by you can start the building or construction of your building or any other civil structure um, designed for this location by doing this you have created a very good bond between the building and the rock so no kind of vibration around that location that will be able to affect the foundation of this building because it is properly bonded it is deep into the rock we all know that concrete is hard when it is dry and the rock is also hard if you place them and it's not properly bonded any little vibration can make it to drift away so it is very pertinent we carry out confirmatory site investigation this will enable us use the method recommended in the report because every investigation we do on the earth material on any earth material be it rock be it soil has recommendations attached to that it's through this recommendation to know the kind of foundation type to be used the materials and all that so it is very pertinent that we do everything humanly possible within our own powers to prevent building collapse because it is um, the loss is immeasurable like i said before it is unquantifiable it leads to loss of lives and materials resources manpower and others so for your building to stand the test of time um, you need to carry out investigation uh, material or risk assessment on that very location thank you